check blunt. Unit one, two, and three are melted down 100%. And we got uh, put out a video earlier tonight. CBS is faking pictures of an interior of a building that had a detonation in it from the zirconium burning off the rods. This was a huge, huge, massive explosion. This was a 10 story building. It was one of four reactors that were badly damaged. Now let me double check. Hi Stacy, uh, Kate, I'll get back on track here. Albert, Stacy Lane, and um, got some fun stuff tonight right off the bat. Hi Penny, Mike, Aqua, Missing Sky, SH Moon, Cats Alive, Gary, Mickey, Amster, Sergeant, Cap, Wanna Be Alive, 24, James, 42, Thank you, folks. And before I forget, <coughs> guess who bit Thunderfoot? He bit. I, I, you know, I stomped on him three videos. We stomped on him three videos. And so he came back. Um, he came back with a video tonight. You got to go check it out. And the first thing he talks about is that I'm making up iodine 132. <laughs> I left a comment for him. Do you don't suppose you should have looked up iodine 132 before you post it? Laugh my ass off. Go to Wiki. Do it to its fertility like you, short half life like you, and high abundance and stupidity like you. I mean, fission products. Iodine 131, along with the short lived isotope. Iodine 132 from the long lived 132 terillium with a half life of three days is responsible for the largest part of radioactive contamination of during the first week after accidental environmental contaminations. And, and so I said, I'll get around to you claiming the jet streams don't work, right? Because he's claiming that stuff couldn't have came over here, but the jet streams at 100 miles an hour, 2400 miles. Uh, two and a half days later here, the isotopes got a 10 day, they can't survive without iodine-129, it's got a 15 million year half-life. And just to get it out there, because that's pretty funny, that he bit. And then he went after the Philippines, where he equated all the energy in the ocean from Fukushima as a 40 watt light bulb. That's because like he lives in this land of bananas, where he equates potassium-40, with uranium-234 and uranium-235 and uranium-238, or he equates a glass of water that you drink every day, 10,000 10, becquels, with the same as plutonium or something like that, and tries to marginalize it down to 0. 0.000. He'd done it repeatedly. And so I have to come out and uh, finish him off, because that was the whole idea of the video. But we had a good laugh off him for two days, right? And then he comes out and he makes fun of the USS Ronald Reagan, 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 Reagan sailors getting sick because they were in a plume one mile offshore where they were delivering humanitarian aids. I kid you not. He ridiculed them. Oh, you poor thing, you're all sick. It was like unbelievable. It's, it's pretty bizarre. You know, you can't make that stuff up. And it's all because... And now we have the answer to that question that everybody was wondering a few days back. Is Thunderfoot Fukushima fallout illiterate or a shithead? Well, he's a shithead. Right? Because gammas and betas and alphas are traveling at uh, almost the speed of light. And so he equates all that energy, right, from the isotopes being created and everything else. And that the, the isotope is putting out these disintegrations. He, he equates all of that with a 40 watt light bulb. Because he lives in the world of potassium-40, right? He's like Ken from uh, last night's videos, Ken and Jay, the two uh, nuclear Barbie dolls, who says that 137 turns into potassium-40, 1,500 miles out to sea. I watched another video of him already today, I downloaded it. 
And he does the same thing at uh, MIT, right, where he breaks it down and then he moves on again. But he's talking to educated people there, but he still does it. It's amazing. And so Thunderfoot, uh, how did Thunder, uh, super duper scientist Thunderfoot survive childhood? That's a good question. That's still a valid question. We still haven't worked that out. But he didn't include anything about his Thunderfoot Fukushima fallout, illiterate or a shithead, because I put all the models and everything else in there, and then I tore apart his little paradigm, his stupid little idiotic world, where he demonizes all the Muslims, you know, to get out of fuel. You got five million orphans in Afghanistan. Uh, but he doesn't care about that. He's just got to keep demonizing, got to kill more of the Muslims. You got 22 veterans committing suicide every day, but you got to keep killing the Muslims. You got 29,000 rapes reported in the military every year, but you got to keep killing the Muslims. You got to get them. Right? So I tore his little tiny paradigm apart. And that's why he has this distaste for women, because of the way that part of the Muslim, right, that he's talking about. But he, 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 he manages to demonize everybody at the same time, and it's okay to go bomb this one. I mean, Iran's got 49 bases around it. He doesn't mention that once. Maybe they're feeling a little bit of threatened, all those military planes coming and going all the time, all those jets shaking all their fucking windows and terrorizing their children. Maybe the 80% of babies born in Fallujah from the depleted uranium, uh, 238 that they fired there, he doesn't care about that. Got to get the Muslims. He doesn't care that 80% of the children truly don't. And all over that country, because of the depleted uranium that was used, 2.25. And I, that's what I covered in that video is Thunderfoot, Fukushima, Fallout, or Litter. I covered all of that. I destroyed his little paradigm. And so he had to come out and try to stomp on me. But like an idiot, he starts off with the iodine-132. It's much more, by the way, right, created uh, with the iodine-131 at the same time. But you can't have any of them without the uranium, plutonium, and the strontiums. And, of course, Fukushima was different because all those spent fuel pools, they're, they're millions of times more deadly because they went through the chain reaction. And so he skips past all that and goes back to the potassium-40 routine. So he's up to something different. He's not looking for truth. He's not looking for facts. He's done this repeatedly. He equates a banana with uranium. I mean, my goodness, you got to be so stupid. It's inconceivable that he's still even doing that. So it's not an accident, see? You can't be that stupid. Nobody could be this stupid. Why would he even come out and say that I done 132? Because he's actually truly stupid. That's a fact. Why else would you do that? I'm going to tear him up in another video to probably the more I like for something to do for a whole hour. <laughs> I'll go download everything he got there that I likes. We'll chop it up and have a bit of fun with him. I'll fucking wreck his little tiny world. But I appreciate it because that's probably the most views you're going to get in a long time. That's pretty cool. I mean, nobody's going to fall for it. Seriously. I'm supposed to have the comments over here. I thought that was hilarious. I just caught it. And I was laughing. <coughs> it's pretty funny. Hi, folks. So CBC, and you've seen the video I put up already, they faked the interior. They faked the interior. I say hi to a few people because I don't really miss last night altogether. I awaken. Try. I got to get home and check out your music. Hi, Awaken, uh, Cats Alive, Mike, Albert, Huma, Stacy, Missing Sky, Stacy Lane, Janet, Joe, Kurtzer. Oh, I screwed up that time. Craig, Starlight, 50,000 bananas dumped at Fukushima. And, uh, Now my video is frozen. Am I frozen? That's crazy. I didn't know my video would freeze. Uh, okay, so let me get back on track. Hi, Fleb. I just want to say hi to a few people. Joe. Yeah, the U.S. Ronald Reagan. These people were a mile offshore and the wind came straight out. And uh, they were making snow. The sailors were in the hallways dropping their pants. 
and they couldn't contain themselves and vomiting. And I mean, all up, up, you know, in Tokyo, it's 300,000 becquels per, per square meter repeatedly measured up there. And what I think um, is going on, there's a concerted effort all of a sudden to come out and try to put everybody's attention on Unit 4. But, you know, we already went down this road with the BBC and ABC and a bunch of them. And here's CBS coming out with this new stuff from Seth, Crazy Seth. He's mad. That's some pretty cool shit he pulled off there, manipulated everybody into thinking it. And at the same time, she got the popular bloggers coming out slamming everybody. But they don't even know how to use factual evidence because he went through a whole bunch of my stuff. He still couldn't find jack shit. That's pretty funny. He went after the Philippines. I'll get around that in another video in a day or two, probably tomorrow night for a bit of fun. Actually, <laughs> yeah, why not? Because that's too easy. That's like taking candy from a baby. I uh, said hi to everybody. Tracy, hi. Just make sure I get everybody. Penny again. Thank you, Penny. See, Penny was out there batting for me. Like, Nuda, Huma, Amthors, Diver. Hi, Diver. Diver Doge. My favorite thing to do with a diver was, uh, besides crapping over the ladder when he first goes off the side of the boat, uh, was turning their ear off and hanging on to him. And then yank him up something to do I had friends uh, they would come like ex uh, Navy SEALs if you want to play play around they come on zip ya bastards unshackle your anchor let your fucking boat drag you away fun times I learned some good stuff off those guys they were pretty good they're crazy I miss Milky and so Unit 4 is a real enigma. I mean, so what's the idea here? They even say in the video there's three melted reactors. And just a very 15-second stretch or something that they talked about that. So there's a concerted effort to show Unit 4 as hope, I guess. Maybe that's what's going on. Right, because industry... And that's what the TPP is all about, is because there's so much radioactivity now going on into that ocean, pouring into that ocean over the hot coriums. You know, we don't keep them in the equation enough, I guess, but all that water that runs under the plant is contaminated from the rods that went all over the plant. And that if Thunderfoot had a rod the size of a banana or a glass of rot water, it would kill him uh, before... You know, he can say a sentence. And so we got a lot of these people out there, like Ken last night, like Jay Cullen last night, Ken, Ken Buesler. Um, and then you find all their uh, lectures and they're doing the same thing in every lecture. And it depends on the quality of the audience. If they're on the radio, they're kind of like maniacs when they're in front of a bunch of people in an audience. They rein it in, but they still can't help but slip this stuff out there. They have to say it. It's part of the curriculum. And maybe they're just gullible. But why don't we see nuclear experts? You know, just there's just that one Ernie country out there. And we don't see any nuclear experts at all. That's kind of really strange. It's so rare. It's always, you know, the Calicots. It's always, you know, all these people that are not the actual, actually nuclear experts. And so I, that's why I go out and listen to all the lectures from Harvard and Yale and Berkeley and MIT and Stanford and Oxford. And because even 50 becquels of the radiation we talk about, not the stuff that Thunderfoot talks about, that's got nothing to do with our conversation, but the 50 becquels of radioactive isotopes that we talk about will damage the livers, will da damage your organs permanently. And so when you live uh, under the jet stream, you can't get away from radioactive fallout. It's not like radioactive fallout is going to avoid, you know, just say, hey, we're not going to go over North America. It doesn't respect any borders, particularly when it's coming with a jet stream. And this is um, pretty bizarre that we have these conversations in the first place. But the whole point is that 
That's the problem. You got to put it all together into a big package because it's easy to manipulate it into being harmless or insignificant by using background radiation of bananas like Thunderfoot or by using background radiation of water like Thunderfoot or using the natural thorium, the radons, which are insignificant and you're not going to get high readings of them everywhere you go. And on the coastlines, you know, the rain washes isotopes out to the coastline. This is not something I made up. None of this. This is stuff that's all factual. And Thunderfoot can't even look up iodine-132 before he makes a fucking video. That's going to come back and bite him over and over. You can't get much more stupider than that to say the jet streams don't exist. It's just ludicrous stuff. And this is well known because we got all the peer review studies in the video I made for him. Is he Fukushima illiterate or just a shithead? His Thunderfoot. Because everything was there. And so he wouldn't touch that and try to use the... Oh, what, a weak, what a weak shot, right? So what was that all about? I guess just that was him lashing out because he couldn't come up with anything because I beat him every way he turned. Because I destroyed his ideology... That five million orphans and the depleted uranium fired in everybody's homes in Iraq and Afghanistan. In everybody's home, in every shop, schools blown up, cars targeted with 155 millimeter depleted uranium rounds that leave a 900 foot crater. And, you know, he should have to go down there and give those 5,000 orphans a baseball cap and a glass of water. That's what Thunderfoot should have to fucking do before he's allowed to make another video. And maybe he'll get his ass educated there. Because he thinks that's not, uh, that's not no big deal. Just like the Reagan sailors who were supplying aid, who were hit with unbelievable radiation, he ridiculed these people. He's lucky he don't get his teeth kicked in by these people. That's pretty stupid. I guess he's got to feel like a, just like he's, who knows? It's the most strangest thing I've ever saw. This is repeatedly he's done that now where he comes out, oh, there's no radiation comes over here. we got a big shield around America. It blocks it all. Don't go in your water. They didn't find 181 times more in California. They didn't find 40 million Beckwells of iodine-131. That's, that's 10 million iodine-129 with a 15 million year half-life. They don't find none of that because you don't look for it. And so he buys a Geiger counter and goes out and looks for stupid, insignificant background radiation. Makes himself feel smart. It's fucking pathetic. There really is some really disgusting people on the planet. And that's the problem. That's why the universities are failing the students. Because they got dummies like that there. Right? Inbreeds. Just useless fucking feeders up on society. That are sprouting off this stuff. Because it's a distraction. There's, there's nothing honest about it. He doesn't put any time or energy or effort into it. And he monitorizes it like a fucking baby. Like some kind of dummy. He's going to make a, a penny off every 25 people. So he's going to stick him with a fucking advertisement. He's just uh, he's a punk, right? But he's, he gets a bit of attention. That's okay. Some of the smart people will finally come over here now. And they'll be realizing that. He's actually really truly is stupid because he showed a map of the projection of just uh, cesium-137. Once again, it's 30 times more because the, the, the plutonium and uranium that they used there was already milled for nuclear weapons. They remilled it. It was MOX fuel. It was 2 million times more deadly than any other reactor on the planet. And he was like, oh, it's just, oh, stayed over there. Never went 50 kilometers away. It was only like 3 Beckwells is what he's saying in his video that I watched tonight. It's unbelievable. It's as thick as your head could possibly be or something else is going on. Because you can't really be that thick in the head, can you? How hard would it be him to find a 300,000 Beckwells in Tokyo? And just as much up on the west coast of Japan. Hot particles. What does he think that's going to dissipate in eight days in like his last fantasy fucking video? I mean, it's so retarded, and at the same time, CBS is hammering out this video, and everybody's re-uploading that fable, that fucking fable. Every time somebody puts up that video that they put out there, that's bad. That's shoving that fable out there 
that that building somehow is actually part of what is in the pictures below. There's 99 downloads at TEPCO's website and you can go look at what building 4 looks like. A tsunami ran through the fucking place. It's a nuclear site for Christ's sakes. It's a nuclear waste site. It was full of uranium-238. And so all the debris coming out from all these cores that blew up, fucking all that debris, hot particles were deposited upon all that debris. It didn't just go in that way and come out the other fucking side. Right? It came back out. There were three melted cores. Went boom! They were filled by AP 25 miles away. Reporter reported it. One of the explosions. The detonations. It's like you're living in some kind of fantasy or you're being paid to do it. We'll find out eventually because I don't want to believe that Thunderfoot is truly that stupid and still can use a camera and software. That doesn't make sense, see? He should use his voice for like some creepy movie or something. He's got the creepiest voice. He's like a little girl, but it's creepy. Right? He doesn't have any strength to it. He doesn't have any authority to it. Like he just... He never done nothing in his life when he opened his fucking mouth and ran it off. Like, doesn't he have the brains to look up iodine 132 first before he bases his whole fucking theory of how I'm just a fear monger? <laughs> I'm going to hit him again now. I'm going to make it once a week. Once a fucking week. Thunderfoot. Just stomp that fucker down every week for something to do. We'll find the funniest shit we can and we'll put it together because of how stunned he is. But he doesn't deserve that kind of attention. <clears throat> and another thing, you know, CBS, of course, is huge. It's got a big chunk of uh, YouTube, Google. Sorry, guys. I'm only picking on you because you tried to fake a fucking picture and then a video. That's not cool. That's not cool. I'm trying to make people think that there's no issue. That's all you're trying to do. There can't be nothing else going on. You're trying to make people think that way. So why? It's the most deceitful thing imaginable. It's the most disrespectful thing you could ever imagine. It's the most... Uh, how, how can somebody even think like that, that they got to fake this? Rather than tell you the truth, that there's an issue. You got three fucking melted cores already. How much fucking better can it fucking be? Seriously. Why have that fable? So they don't look at the ocean? And so they have this hope about that? Is that what it's all about? See, the, the isotopes as they're going into the ocean, they kill all the phytoplankton. And the stuff that falls to the bottom comes back up. Because that's what cold water does. It brings up the nutrients which are at the surface of the ocean floor. Where I worked for 14 years. And so I'm legitimately concerned. Because I understand that ecosystem and how incredible it is. And how, and how so vulnerable it also is. That uh, if you take a cup of salt water with, uh, with 100 million phytoplankton and all the other creatures, mill hundreds of millions... And drop an isotope in there, you kill them. And if that isotope, you were to dump it in another uh, half a liter of water, it would kill everything in there. And if you were to take that half a liter and dump it into three quarters of a liter or a liter, it would kill all those phytoplankton. And you can keep going till you get the, to, you know, to, and so you got so much coming out of there that's putting out all this energy. It doesn't disappear. That's the problem. That's the issue. That's the reason that it's supposed to be locked up in a sarcophagus according to the licensing agreements till the end of fucking time. If it was harmless, like bananas, we wouldn't be here. We're here because it's legitimate and it's okay sometimes to have to come out and, and, and argue a bit about the ludicrousness of it but it's so ludicrous that somebody who's got a, who's a physicist, who's a professor, that I gotta come out and remind them about the very basics, where he's gotta fabricate stuff out and won't even address the fact that I put out a video to cover all the bases, skipped over that, and just come out to slam me? I don't know. Most likely, 
Because that's childlike, like all of his videos are childlike, or insignificant. Right, he bashes women. <laughs> he couldn't exist without a woman. And the women are not out there doing most of that evil. It's just so sad that we don't get a chance to deal with it, with anybody out there, not even the, the, the community that's supposed to be out there that stood up for each other, you know, in the blogger community. It's more of devoid. Everything that comes out of his mouth is about devoid. Right? Turn against the Muslims, 49 bases around Iran. What are they going to do, dress up as cable, uh, camels and sneak out in the fucking desert? How are they going to attack anybody? Not that they have in a couple of hundred years. The Americans haven't stopped. Americans got five million orphans in Afghanistan. He should have to go to a couple of million missing. You know, there's millions raped. They rape 29,000 of their own every year. 300,000 rapes in the military. He doesn't support those. He supports the ones that got blown up in Iraq and uses that to come out and bludgeon the Muslims. Right? You know, it's just... It's so sad that people that are so educated can't can't understand iodine 132 or 129, how that works, how that exists, and how uranium plutonium can get atoms atomized to the point where there's enough atoms in a gram, radioactive atoms in a gram. This is a different type of radioactive atom than he's going to look at. These are MOX fuel and the other reactors which all have plutonium into it. This is went through a chain reaction. It makes the atom completely different monster. And a lot of these atoms, nobody knows what the fuck they are. He certainly won't. I won't. It's a well-guarded secret. And it's not just Fukushima. But that's the worst one. It's hemorrhaging on control, raging out into that ocean. And something has to be done about all of this. All they do is fire in other people's countries where you're getting not only gammas and betas alphas from the broken parts of uranium-238, but you're getting all the, the neutrons and all the x-rays. Right? And everybody, and then the children are going out and playing in that. He should have to go down and fucking play in it. He's like, no, radiation can't hurt you. That's what he's saying in his video. Even though the soldiers, they, they, they couldn't even land that ship. No one would take him was so radioactive. Story's well known. And he's like, they're fucking faking it. That's literally what he's saying. That's, that's pretty stupid because they're not faking it. It's crazy, see? No matter how you look at it, he's just wacko. Just wow. It's pretty funny though. I'm going to finish him off now. Another video. Fuck it. CBS is faking Unit 4 pictures after BBC already got stomped down a month ago. After ABC got stomped in the ground for doing the same thing. After CBC done the same thing, we stomped them all into the ground. Right. That friggin' video went everywhere. And it's the exact same thing as I've done today, except I went just play it around with it a bit. Just doing the same thing as we've done the last time because it's ludicrous. Well, I use more pictures, more, you know, more material. That's all, everything I use is authentic. And there's so much going on with nuclear, see, because the isotopes are made in space. Right? They put the same numbers on the ones up in space, the same names, and and and, re and and uh, refer to them as they do about the nuclear, as they do about natural ones, indigenous ones on Earth, and you actually got to split in between all of that to find the actual truth. They hide it away like that, on purpose. So you can't understand it. And that's why he can, uh, Thunder Dummy, Lord Thunder and Thunder Dummy, uh, equates uh, bananas and water with the isotopes from nuclear reaction. You know, uh, the uranium is 4.5 billion years. Anybody's not familiar with this stuff. And a gram of this stuff, when it's atomized and aerosoled in the bowels of hell, 
produces more radioactive atoms than all the grains of sands and all the beaches on the planet. If you ingest them, and that's what happens, they go through the liner of your lungs, the liner of your membranes, and they're pulsing out energy. And so you will build a tumor around that. And if you're out in Seattle, or you're out in California when there was 1,501 uh, particles, which doesn't sound like a lot, and, and but because you're talking about radioactive atoms that were possibly came from spraying salt water on the melted cores, which has this phenomenon that produces these buckyballs. And they, what happens is they're like balls shape where structures and they ingest uranium part, particles inside of that and atoms, which are atoms. And just one it can cause cancer. And we've covered that a number of times. The experts out there, I mean, the lobbyists for this industry is unbelievable. But go look at the children in Fallujah. And you can get an idea when you live in an accelerated environment from using uranium-238, what happens for deformities. And it's not just children, it's animals, uh, it's pets and everything else. And wildlife, of course, it's well known. I like to see uh, Thunderfoot head down to Hanford and go up to that 41 miles open pit of yellow cake with uh, Neptunium and Amerinium and Uranium and Plutonium and get yourself a Dixie cup and see how far he gets. See how close he gets is more like it. Right, he ignores all those isotopes hemorrhaging out there up into the environment and flowing everywhere. He ignores it all because it's easier to do that. And he has a he has an ego that has nothing to do with uh, intelligence, unfortunately. And so come out and stab people to death is his op only option. He can't come out and rationally take apart the video I put out about him. <laughs> is he uh, Fukushima literate or a shithead? Because that video is probably why he's making this one, because I destroyed his little tiny paradigm of bashing the Muslims, screaming at uh, Iran, because there's 49 bases around Iran. Oh, Iran's no issue. You're already bludgeoning Iraq and Afghanistan to debt till the end of time. You're at war with Iraq and Afghanistan till the end of time. Because every, like a warthog shoots a ton and a half of depleted uranium, 238. A ton and a half. That's the animosity equivalent of 71 Nagasaki bombs worth of radiation. Uranium-238, and it's contaminated with amerinium. Um, this stuff is supposed to be in the sarcophagus till the end of time. It's not supposed to be used for anything. It's too dangerous. That's recognized. But they just keep dumping it in the ocean and then they have to bring out the dummies to attack us with the most ludicrous stuff, like CBS coming out with a video pretending that's Unit 4, which is, you know, it's just not possible. There's no structure in there that didn't get annihilated and buried in the detonation and the missing projectiles of... You know, each pool had 122,000 rods in it, 1,535 bundles, 80 rods in a bundle, 1,500-pound uh, bundles, and they smash into number four, number two, and other buildings around that site. They detonated. They felt the concussions 25 miles away. You know, there was total 100% meltdowns. The fuel pools, number four, caught on fire. And so there's no way Molly Maid got in there or anybody else. You can't get in there and just wander around. You won't survive. I guess that's why they got no homeless left in Fukushima. But they still couldn't pull that off. Right? And CBS's video, they don't even say that. They say they built a, a container around the building to stabilize it. But like I blew the pictures up today to show you that they're not in the building. They're not directly over the building. That'll hemorrhage till the end of time. They can't get inside of it. That's what that was all about, was trying to do this PR campaign to say it's not dangerous. That uh, the schools outside of Fukushima Prefecture itself 
with a million disintegrations of cesium-137 <coughs> per square meter after decontamination, right, I see Thunderfoot go down and hang out and tell the kids it's okay. That's fine, kids. You're okay. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it, kids. I'm Thunderfoot. I'm a YouTuber. One thirty two don't exist. Why didn't you even look it up, I wonder? How fucking stupid can you be? It's got a ten day uh, ten times its original life on top of that. It's not just all gonna disintegrate. Even though it's a short half life, but it's uh, uh, you up just nine times more effectively. And there was oodles of it got released. Unbelievable amounts. You'll never get the truth out of these people. They haven't done nothing but lie since day one. We had to take all the data and reconstruct the actual events, make sure it was accurate, and that's what we share. There's no reason to fabricate it or make it up. I mean, my goodness. Why would you? What's to be gained by that? There's nothing to be gained by that. And so I would love to be proved wrong. That's fantastic. Prove me wrong, but don't. But at least take up the challenge when you're given a challenge. I put out a challenge for him. Well, kind of went overboard, I guess, in three videos. But I put out a nice little neat package for him. Is he Fukushima literate or a shithead? And he turns out to be a shithead. Incapable because everything is dear is factual. Everything in my other videos is factual. And so his idea now is to try to, I don't know, Pretend that he's somebody because he's got a lot of people that are really, really naive and gullible and put their faith into him and he will get them hurt, their children will be hurt. He keeps going back to this equation that, and I know I'm jumping back and forth, but it goes back to this equation, well, how come there's not 19 million dead? Give it a bit of time, dummy. That's how cancer works, stupid. You dummy. And if you actually go look at the literature and the research, you find out that there's tons of this mutations. Radchick got a whole bunch of the pre, the most vulnerable of uh, the ecosystem mutates. Just like all this radiation that goes into the ocean every day, it kills all the life and all the oxygen ability of the ocean and the oxygen molecules themselves. It radiates them. It annihilates. It's not like low level radiation where you're just mutating something that kind of stuff that's coming out there in these big plumes. These are incredible stuff. This is incredibly powerful. It suffocates the ocean, see? It, you know, that's not me, that's factual. That's what it does. Take, um, when you take all these royal isotopes, you get in the bathroom and it'll, it'll suffocate you. Our animals are, are just, phytoplankton is nothing. It's like popcorn. Every time, this stuff uh, is not like background radiation. I got to keep saying that because a lot of people out there like to use that. I mean, like the water in San Francisco is 10,000. Potassium 40, background radiation. But 10,000... 10, uh, you you can uh, uranium background radia or radiation. You might be able to live for 15 to 20 seconds, or 10,000 plutonium, and you might survive, but you'll die. You'll melt those organs if you're if you're around uh, that because that's that's a big particle putting out those kind of radiations. But insignificant potassium 40 background radiation, yeah, it's off gassing that all the time. So if you eat a banana, you off gas the same amount. A background radiation as you consume because everything has its limit on background radiation it's just a phenomenon that's known like cruise control or thermostats do the same thing with the equal laws that's what your body does with potassium 40 is irrelevant but he keeps using it like it means something but it really does if you're trying to confuse people because you can use numbers like 10,000 Beckwells in that equation but that's got nothing to do with the equal MC square And so that's the, the, the duck and cover routine you hear all the time is forget about uranium, plutonium, forget about strontium and cesiums and their actually implications and their extensions of 10 times, tenfold of uh, decay. 
right, of decay, and then try to equate it all with a light bulb, a 40 watt light bulb. It's bizarre, the most bizarre thing imaginable. That he thinks the energy is just like background radiation where it evaporates and is gone. Have a nice day. Because that's what bananas do, that's what rocks do. That's what insignificant, normal, indigenous background radiation does. And it's everywhere. Everything you got is like that, right? Where it's off-gassing. And, you know, most of a seven to 10,000 range of Beckwell's per second of potassium-40, which got nothing to do with this equation. It's not in... They don't say throw in a banana and a couple of pairs of sneakers into your nuclear weapon and get the they pot out and stir it. They take... You know, and then to use the equation that it had to be uh, radon on the beaches again. Where do we hear that? Just recently, and we're hearing it quite a bit now, is uh, people coming out who don't know nothing anyway saying radon. Where's all the nuclear scientists? Why can't we get them out there anyway? Why is it we always got to turn to these Fukushima illiterates or shitheads or both? Is a really bad question because it's like CBC putting out this video is very desperate. It's the most desperate thing you can imagine. How could you possibly ever get that naive to think that we're not going to jump all over that bandwagon when we just done it a month ago? They're not the same building. You should like you, there should be a repercussion for doing that. That's mass hypnotic brainwashing, and they done it twice in one day. They done it with a guy the first time, end of the video, and then at the next time they done it with a girl for the intro, but then they done the same video for the rest of it. Most bizarre thing imaginable. So they're pumping it out there that this, this is CBS, one of the biggest medias on the planet. And then there's gullible people like Thunderfoot probably watches it and figured he's all righteousness now. It's the, he's got the creepiest freaking voice I've ever heard. There's no honesty, no sincerity, and it's just this creepy shit, man. Just reminds you, you know, he should be, let's say, play some kind of creepy character in a cartoon or something. He'd be really good at it. Get really popular. People that like cartoons like him, obviously, right now. That's what he's like, a little cartoon. Anyway, got to kill all the Muslims because uh, there's only 5,000 orphans in Afghanistan. we got to get more orphans. They get 11,000 Taliban. 290,000 rapes a year in the military to get 11,000 Taliban. Go get them. 2.5 million depleted uranium rounds a month. Sustained for nine years. Dirty bombs in everybody's home. To get 11,000 Taliban. Go get them. Fucking Muslims, get them. 5 million refugees. For Palestine, so Israel can have that little shithole. Because they look like Muslims. That's his ideology. It's okay to create 5 million refugees permanently. Living in Damascus and Syria and Lebanon and Egypt. They got no resources. That don't cause no conflict. That don't cause no divide. Shoving all these people now that are countryless and homeless. 5 million. That's no big deal. It's okay. More of them might come from America and need more land, right? That's the kind of dickhead we're talking about that would come out and not even look up Oyadine 132. Right? It's hard to imagine that he's a professor. It's hard to imagine he's a physicist <laughs> until you right now. I don't know why he's bothered with nuclear. He couldn't get a nuclear friend to come stand up for him. He's not capable of it. It's kind of interesting, though. It gets me wound up a little bit. But only in the sense of it's funny. Right? Not, I don't care. It's funny shit that he's that stupid. I'm going to get him back for that one. I'm going to download his shit and I'll fuck him over. And so I just talked on and on and on. Bill had something, something burning to the ground. Every thumbs down did I get tonight? Last, last night was pretty good. I had three before I started Got 15 a day on that one. That's pretty good. I'm doing something right. You know, you're over the target when you get all those thumbs. I don't usually get any thumbs down. I always like thumbs down. 
Hang on, let me have a look here. Four thumbs down already. Man, I'm pretty good. Hard to beat that. We're not even finished freaking video. I got four thumbs down. Uh, makes me hurt all warm, you know. It's kind of interesting when you think that you can ignore everything as long, as long as it doesn't come back and get you. And all of this stuff will come back and get you. He's in California, is he? That'll get him, right? That'll get his children, his parents, his friends, his aunts, his uncles, his cousins, his nephews, his nieces, brothers and sisters, and aunts and uncles, and, and all the inbreeds that he'll produce. Because all the lies are endless. It's shocking. Uh, I want to remind people that DCA reduces all tumors by 75%, 70% in the first three weeks, according to studies repeated in other institutions and universities over the years, and originally, of course, peer-reviewed. And there's a link below about that. It's a, you don't need a pharmaceutical. Dandelion, you know what dandelion is? You can eat the flower and the leaves and the root. I do it all the time, raw. And you can also make dandelion tea, or you can boil your vegetables with some dandelion and get all those, because it's got all the nutrients and minerals in one package your body ever need. Everything is right there. It's a wonderful thing. Uh, that's hard to do, you, you know. You, and most of your supplements are genetically modified, so you got to be really careful. Same thing with your pet food and your baby foods. Same thing with... Um, same thing with, uh, you know, most of the stuff you're giving your children, you'll be so careful. Uh, everything in the corner shops is genetically modified. It's got no nutrition, no potassium, magnesium, no iron. Uh, it's got no nutrients. It's engineered out, kids are not. And it's got formaldehydes and glyphosate, the two major ones, but it has a number of other toxins and dioxins actually engineered in. And at high particles, at high parts per million, and there is none indigenous to the food. They engineer it in as pesticides, but it's actually extraordinarily harmful because you can't wash it off. Um, Thunderfoot will probably make a video now and argue, oh, a little bit won't hurt you. They ain't all fear mongering on the GMO because they got no nutrients in it. Oh, I can see it now. Freaking El Cotto over there. Beautiful girl, but Dana criticizing the corporations. And Tamiri got over 600 peer-reviewed academic studies on how good it is in different properties, different institutions all over the freaking place. There's actually been studies on all of those studies, looking at all the different properties and the discoveries about how incredibly healthy, one of the most amazing things on the planet is turmeric. And water. Water is one of the most fascinating properties this planet has to offer and so you should look up some of the properties of natural uh, structured water stuff that's coming out of a mountain not stuff that goes and gets chemicals added to it it changes the structure when you put it through machinery you can change the structure but you can change it back and scientists know how to change uh, know how to change it but they don't know why it changes they know how it changed, so they're able to replicate it, right? They don't know why it changes. And uh, that's so important. Uh, like the big shots, they wash their hands with water, not with uh, detergents, just pure water. And it, it's got so much more energy than anything that... Whatever comes into your tap is dead water compared to structured water. Uh, and they use structured water on... Uh, People that were really sick and it unplated their bloods who were really, really sick in the hospitals. It unplated their blood within 10 minutes and they'd done a study like over an hour or two hours where they took blood samples every 10 minutes or so and gave them mountain water that was actually taken by a helicopter from the top of uh, mountains on a jet flown across the sea and then that morning or the next morning down to a hospital where they'd done the studies on the water they took blood samples before they gave them the water, blood samples right after giving them water, blood samples before they took water again, blood uh, 10 minutes later. So there's a lot of needles. So they had a the little thing left in their arm, right? And they took these samples and they, they showed it right there 
put it right on the screen where the blood on plates. Fantastic, because that's what cancer does is it plates up your blood. And that's what really causes you to be sick. You didn't displace it, all your oxygen molecules with white blood cells. But And so there's the amazing amount of foods out there that are, if you can get, organic. So an organic corn is the equivalent of 428 GMO corn on the cob. So it has no nutrients, no potassium, no magnesium, no calcium, no iron, no cobalt, cobalt. Um, and so I just wanted to always like try to remember to put that kind of stuff out or get a list together. We get into the other studio. I think I'm gonna get a tattoo. I done 132. I can like roll my shirt down every night, roll up a pack of smokes and pull it up and be like Fonzie. <laughs> I would do that. That's what it takes. That's what it takes to get it out there. Because all that radioactivity that comes out of these places doesn't just turn the fury dust. Okay? That's what they want you to believe. And like last night, we tore their fable to shreds of what they're up to. They're royal men. They're unaccountable. But when you see them in a, into a university or an institution where they're giving a lecture, they're a little bit better behaved, right? And they don't make these royal, these royal exasperation of that, that's what I basically done was I couldn't believe they're saying that they check every bag of rice before it comes out of there. Have you ever seen a container ship before? They mix the rice together with the radioactive rice from Fukushima Prefecture repeatedly and got caught at it repeatedly. Got called out in the media repeatedly. Ken's out there. Oh no, man, they check it all, buddy. Tell you what, they're pretty good. I oh, eat it when I'm down there. That's what I does. I eat it when I'm down there. When I'm in that building. That number four. We eat food in there. It's good. <laughs> it's probably just like a practice spot for the, the engineers to learn how to work all the equipment before they actually go in and work on the real one. It's just a mock-up. And Seth's not really stupid. He's just incompetent. He's not really out there trying to murder everybody. CBC, though, they knew better. There's the pictures are down below. The FOIA releases are down below this video. There's an amazing amount of information down there. And it's an amazing problem we have here with communication is that we could deal with this, right? But if not, what's going to happen to the Pacific Ocean? I think it's pretty clear. You know, what a small amount of radioactivity can do when it's hemorrhaging out there non-stop every day for over a thousand days and we see sailors saying there's 3,000 miles of dead ocean and I shouldn't have to worry, no big deal, Dana. It's just potassium 40s like a fucking banana. Go back to fucking sleep. See, the building's okay. We went in and fixed it. Well, why don't you go in number one, two, and three, two, while you're fucking at it? You can't do it. You didn't do it. There's no evidence of you doing it. There's no evidence of the cutting torches. You got no pictures of fucking scaffolds. You don't show anybody with a fucking tape measuring shit. Nothing. Just come and make these fucking conjectures that CBC is, because by proxy, because it's a mainstream media, it must be right. But when you look at what I done to them tonight, where I keep going from their picture to the real pictures, that you can download below from Tepco's fucking website. Come back and talk to me then if you're still on the fucking ropes. Just one of these reactors. Like Chernobyl, which is only a 30% meltdown, one third the size of any of these reactors. All of that was for nothing, according to Thunderfoot. And if this was happening right now in Chernobyl, they'd have another building just like the one I got for a screen capture here tonight or uploaded earlier, they mock up another one, say, see, oh, okay, only 600,000 soldiers went through there, all got medals, some of them only went for 15 to 20 seconds, and they went home, Thunderfoot should have to go down and do something like that, you know, Thunderfoot, they'll be glad to have you down Fukushima, you can go down and broadcast your radio show every day, and they pay you a lot of money, man, probably pay you fucking 100,000 a day to do it, 
Are you man enough? Is the next question. Okay, that'd be pretty cool. That's what we'll do in the morning. Let's send Thunderfoot down and the broadcast from YouTube for the next two weeks from fucking Fukushima. <laughs> that'd be pretty funny. Gotta be right in front of the webcam. Blah. Okay, well. Let me say hi and goodbye to everybody. Yeah, try to buy Gorgantic. Get your nutrients level up. And... Get your nutrients. You know, the best thing about it is that they're desperate. That's the way I see it. If they're going to come out and fake the building and come out and fake, make shit up and deny and deny gammas and betas and alphas traveling at a couple of hundred thousand miles per second is not real energy. It doesn't fit into an equation of the Philippines. And that the winds at the Philippines was a hundred mile wide F4 tornado. Look up F4 tornado. Quarter mile wide, travel maybe six miles, stay over your head for 30 seconds. The one in the Philippines was over your head for four hours. So he didn't put that in the video. The one in the Philippines was 100 mile wide. The one in the Philippines was truly traveling exactly like a tornado. The air was full of projectiles. It was hell on earth. 44 provinces annihilated. And he... He just puts that off as, as like it didn't even happen. Like it's not significant. A hundred mile wide F4 tornado over people's heads for four hours is no big deal. Yeah, that's normal, Dana. Because those storms are forming all year long every year down. There's like 20 or 30 in that area a year. That's a lot of storms. And so they're picking up all this energy, all this radiation. And the gammas and the betas that is put a note from all these isotopes are traveling at, you know, a quarter million miles a second. Well, faster than that, but... Okay, so... Thanks, Miss and Sky. Nuda, Aqua, Miss Milky the Clown. Thank you, Michael. Wanna be live, Yaman, DC. Stacy Anderson, thank you. Not a lot of the lead car. Stacy Anderson, again. Thank you for the comment last night. Got it. Uh, checks and balances. Kurtzer, John. Clothes, uh, char. Now, they're desperate. If they're coming out and attacking us like this and coming out with fake pictures of Unifor like that, it only means one thing and one thing only. They're in absolute desperation mode at this stage. So there's awakening. Thanks, Penny. Sweet Jane. Craig. Sergeant. Lunar. Uh, Cats Live, Miss Milky again, Nuda. That's good, folks. We'll get everybody after. Tracy, DC, Troy, Arbo, Mike, uh, Mrs. Guy again, Liam. I can't keep up with it. It's a good show, though. I enjoyed that show tonight. That was a bit of fun. I was still laughing because I only cut Thunderfoot's video. I should go and watch it. It's okay. I like getting beat on or attempts anyway like that because that gives me an unbelievable amount of ammunition. Tonight was just like a little warm up. I was like, can I keep my actually keep keep my uh, keep from saying anything tonight? No, it's too easy. But I'm hoping to get like eighty thousand views out of that one. Maybe I'll get a half a dozen. That's cool. You gotta like it. It all helps, right? He'll get his. That's for sure. Probably the moral. Take care, folks. We'll catch you.